CTV family Catch us live on your TV screens Yes, welcome back to it, ladies and gentlemen. You're still watching XL Live right here on Channel 263 on your DSTV. I'm so excited right now because I'm chatting to someone young who is doing big moves to create a brighter future for young people, or even younger than him, by the initiatives that he drives um, at his homestead um, at Dundee, which is out of the outskirts of Zase, KZN. I'm talking about o Jonathan Griffiths from Dundee. He is a founder and the station manager. Um, what's the name of that radio station of yours? Again, Neutral Studio FM, correct? Correct, correct. Yes. Um, because of Abandu, Abangane, they don't have employment, um, they tend to be stressed and by with drugs, alcohol abuse, or maybe depression and the life of crime. That is why you started with this initiative. Yes, correct, correct. When did it begin? So basically it started off with the love that I had for public speaking. You know, growing up as a very timid uh, young boy, but then because of one of my religious beliefs, which are based on biblical principles, are to go out and preach from door to door. And so that's when I started developing public speaking skills. And so when I was in primary, I got involved in various public speaking activities. And then by the age of 13, I was the best public speaker in the school. And then by the age of 16, that is when I became the top 10 public speaker in South Africa on a high school level. Then age of 18, I landed myself a gig as a news presenter, and then also as the presenter of the afternoon drive show in another radio station that's also based in KZN. But then I kept noticing the need for media opportunities in my hometown, which is Dundee. And that is why I decided to initiate Neutral Stereo FM. You are only 21 years old. I can't find some of the challenges that you have faced and how you overcame them. What did you face as a challenge? Because um, running a radio station can't be that simple. How did you overcome challenges that you met? Yes, so first thing that I can say, initiating the radio station, I had a purpose. And this purpose was obviously to benefit the residents of Dundee and the surrounding outskirts. So what has helped me to keep on going despite the various challenges that I've faced is to always see that purpose being fulfilled. And until that purpose is not yet fulfilled, I'm always motivated to keep on going. But the various challenges that I've faced, obviously being a young person, it's not like maybe you have some money saved up that you're working for somewhere else. So I literally started this radio station from nothing. So that has been a very tremendous challenge, the financial side of things. And then, of course, getting elderly people to trust you as a young person that you are able to start such a formidable idea such as a radio station. Then, of course, the other challenge that I've faced is working with young people. You see, the thing is, young people, they are determined, they are dedicated, they do have that drive. But at times, because they're inexperienced, sometimes they're not as consistent as, and as persistent. So... Those are one of the challenges that I also had to face. But despite all of that, we've been going. Yes, and you're pushing the passion. What I want to find out next is, what is Neutral Stereo FM all about? So basically, Neutral Stereo FM, the name Neutral obviously was because of our objective of trying to remain neutral. Yeah. And then, of course, with the FM, our hope was to obtain a frequency modulation. But then that has been very delayed. And the process for now is a little bit tricky on our side. So we are currently an online radio station, and the aim is to entertain, inform, and educate the community of Dundee and its surrounding areas. And then, of course, to also provide young, talented people in the community with a platform to gain the necessary exposure. And then, obviously, we also help local institutions within the community to reach their products and services through to their target market which is our listenership. So that's basically the main objectives of Neutral Stereo FM. Mm, what I love the most about um, this um, stereo is that it's for the people, by the people. How did the community receive it? 
To be honest, at first, people were not really familiar with the idea. You see, the thing is, whenever we speak radio in our community, people often think of the commercial, regional, big radio stations. Yeah. So at first, they were a little bit confused, but we needed to make them aware, first of all, of what is a community radio station, and then, of course, how will it benefit them and make them aware of what they can achieve through the power of radio. And so we've been doing that, and the community is slowly and gradually starting to be very receptive. Currently, we are busy with door-to-door -door work. We'll be hoping to cover the whole territory of Dundee and make people aware of Neutral Stereo FM and, of course, what they can benefit from this community radio station. It's all good for people to tune in and consume your content, but there are other people behind the microphone, people that want to be part of the content, people that want to anchor and present your shows. What kind of young individuals do you look at and you think, ah, long, long, to grand, long, dana, oh, oh, nice, and they can have their own show. Who do you look at? How do you pick your talent? Well, firstly, I often look at the work ethics. Yeah. I'm very strict when it comes to work ethics and professionalism. So it's either they meet my work ethics and professionalism or they surpass it. Mm. So that is what I look for. Then, of course, I also look for availability because you can find someone who's professional, who's got talent and who's got good ethics, but then they're not so available. So that's also something that I look at is availability which has also been a challenge, you know, because you find that you get a very good, talented presenter who's very passionate, but then maybe they're studying at the side or maybe their parents want them to go and get a job, yeah. um, uh, maybe at another institution. So it has been challenging. The availability side has been challenging. But what I look for is someone who's willing to learn, someone who has very good work ethics and good professionalism. I love everything about this story. It's so inspiring. Um, you could wake up and become all Jonathan Griffiths if you want to, because if you can, what's stopping you? Jonathan, now we made people curious enough to want to tune into um, Neutral Studio FM. How do we do that? Okay, so basically, the most simple way to explain it is obviously if you Google search our link, you can be able to tune in, save our site, and press play. Or alternatively, the most simple method is finding us on social media platforms. We always have the link posted. You can be able to click on the link and enjoy our content and our music. But then they can also download an app of the broadcasting application that we registered with, which is called Listen to My Radio. If they download that app and they search NSFM, they can be able to have access to Neutral Stereo FM and tune in. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Jonathan Griffiths. I think Dandy is represented and is being represented very well. All the best um, for your future endeavors. You're creating careers, careers rather, and Abandu, they are grateful. I'm very proud of what you're doing, so keep on doing the most. Thank you so much, Lama, for holding it down for us like a true great presenter that you are. And thank you so much, Jonathan, for taking the time to sit down with Lama and give us more insights on professionalism and availability. You know, Lauren, I love that interview so much because mm. as well as I was watching it, I was like, everything that Jonathan was talking about is what we go through as young people that are trying to chase a career, yep. that are trying to also be in a professional world, but also trying to get an education at the same time. It can be quite tough to be available in two spaces at the same time so yeah Jonathan <laughs> your words were heard by this side and I've got to say guys I think it's a perfect segue into our brand new segment happening every Monday right it's every yes. Monday here on XA it is notice board <laughs> now Melissa what is notice board what notice is it about? Board. notice board is about where we give you up um, internship opportunities we tell you about the all the internships that are happening in the Western Cape in Gauteng if you're lucky and everywhere else if you are lucky but we try to focus mainly on the Western Cape we give you information to better yourself because we believe in being career wise and career yes. ready and latest on Chantal Man. Do the thing. <laughs> and of course, we've only got so much time every show, so it won't be as many as we wish yes. we could put on the notice board. But we do have three jobs that we're going to be talking about now that are available. Remember, it's not available through CTV, mm -hmm. no. but we're using this platform to tell you about jobs that are happening in other organizations, in other companies. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited good. for let's somebody do. at home that is <laughs> hanging on the edge of the couch and going, I, I want to hear the yeah, details. Yeah, Should we get true. what is 
is number one? What's your first get... job offering? Okay, so the first job offering that we have is the HDA graduate internship. The housing development agent has following a 12 month um, graduation internship program, um, REF APPSGP521. The Western Cape, Cape Town is seeking for quantity surveyors graduate intern. A degree in quantity surveying is required. If you want to apply, you search for a fert a furtive portfolio and register online. You can hear already, Mona Lisa sounds professional, I mean, ready to apply you. for the Let's job. Let's do this, guys. We, you know what? We can be career people and we can be professional at all times. Oh, <laughs> all the same time. And there's so much information that we have to bring it with <laughs> us on our little boards. So we're going to be reading some more. So there's another yeah. one. There's a graduate program happening with Capitech. And the due date is very soon. It's mm. on the 14th of June. It's located in Stellenbosch. But make sure if you want to do this, you have to apply by the 14th of June. So it says, Capitec, South Africa's fastest growing retail bank, wants exceptional people to join our graduate development program spanning two region, regions. So it's Western Cape and in Gauteng. So it looks like the Western Cape position is specifically yes. in Stellenbosch. So it's the graduate development program. You will get a 360 degree view of the business Ooh. and how they're quietly going about making banking better and simpler. So again, hop onto Capitech if you're interested in that graduate program and apply by the 14th of June. That's true, ladies and gentlemen. And we actually have another internship or rather, rather a job opportunity for you. So here is the third one, Laura Reese, uh, Media24 applications. Are now open. Um, Media Twenty Four. I love Media. I know. <laughs> That's how I'm like open. Oh, <laughs> Media Twenty Four. Um, the digital media internship. The requirements is that you need to have a degree or diploma in journalism, media, communications, and if you're interested, you can apply online at Media Twenty Four Seven. Um, digital media internship program twenty twenty one. And here's a little tip for you as well. If you're looking at a job application and you feel you meet most of the requirements, but there's one or two things you don't meet, apply yeah, anyway. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, 